good afternoon, this is Zorina Spice. Today I'm going to make some butterflap roll for you guys to see and for you guys to try. So, it's a very nice day today. So we have to enjoy the spring weather. See that a little bit. Today I'm going to make some butterflap and here is my ingredient. Here I have four cups of flour, one stick of butter which is half a cup, you need half a cup. We need two tablespoons of sugar or you could add a one tablespoon more, a little sweet if you like it sweet. Here I have one packet of yeast, quarter teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of oil, and one and a half cup of warm water. So I'll show you how I get all these together. So now I'm going to add the sugar in into the warm water. And I'll stir it up. Next I'm going to add these. So now I'm going to leave it for rice. Here I uh, let the yeast rise for 10 minutes. I cover it down and I let it rise for 10 minutes. So now it rise and ready to use. So this is it. Now I'm going to add the flour for mixing. I'm going to use the salt and the oil now I'm going to mix all this up And then I add the yeast mixture to this. So I put it all in the corner and just start using the yeast mixture. So I'm going to add it a little at a time. So I'm making a dough with this. Continue, do it like this until it form a dough ball. So I'm going to continue with all of this and finish it up and then you see how I get all together. So here's my dough, it finished, my butterfly dough, it finished. See I, I add some dry flour to take out the stickiness. You just uh, sprinkle the little dry flour on it like this. And then you roll it up. So you're all good. So now I'm gonna grease this bowl a little and put put it in. I put a little oil not too much so put about a, just a little and then you um, rub it around 
or you can use butter and we put it here and let it rise put a towel over it and let it rise until it come up I'll show you the next step well it been 45 minutes because it depends on your room temperature you could go like 30 minutes to 45 minutes if the room is um, warm but I put it like 45 minutes so now my next step is I'm gonna cut it like to make a ball see that like this here you cut a piece out like this to make a ball and then we're gonna um, make a little ball like this so I'm going to be making a couple of these balls. Remember you fold it like this. If your hand gets sticky, use some flour. So I'm going to continue with all these here. Then I show you the next step. How I do it. Now I'm gonna grease my pan. Basically you put a little bit of oil or you could use butter. Just put a little and I you grease it. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make this into and I next up I'll show you how I do the butter flap. So now I got the butter at room temperature and I'm ready to show you my next step. So we roll it out. If it gets sticky, you always add some flour. You always could make it bigger or smaller. And then we add a thin layer of the butter. Then we put it like this in two half and then we bring it back like this and seal the edges. So I'll finish. So I'll finish it all up and let you see the next step. So you always flour the, your board and then you roll it out. You could make bigger size by cutting the door a little more bigger. This is good. Then you add the butter a little thin layer of butter next you fold it like this then you fold it back like this and then you put the edges like this so I'll finish all up and then you see the next step then we're ready to bake but then this will have to raise at least for an hour before we start baking so I finished made out all the butter flap here it is now I'm gonna brush a little butter on top and let it sit for one hour for it to rise then I'll go start baking it so I'll show you the next step I'm gonna put some butter on top now just brush it a little had to melt some butter so it's I'm um, gonna finish all this up and let you guys see when it finish so my butter flap has risen 
here it is nicely rose so I'm gonna put it in to bake as soon as the oven hit 400 degree I put it on right now so I see that in the final step this is my butter flop it finished nicely done so now I'm gonna just brush the top with a little butter for you guys to see there it goes just a little I'll finish all these up and let you see. This is my butterflop, nicely done, just finished, very hot, so, and it's soft, very tender and soft. I just want you to see. So this is um, Zorina Spice. I want to thank you guys for watching. Try this recipe. You will love it. And uh, you could eat it as a sandwich. You could eat it just like that. It's all good. So this is the winner spice. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a beautiful day and enjoy. Bye.